How are you? Going well. Chickens are in with um, cold out all the oldest ones, um, just for not really wanting the house. I mean, it isn't gonna really come, really lay for the rest of its life now. So what we've got in here is, as uh, a fly tip cockerel, <laughs> he managed to survive and stay in there. So we've just got some younger ones in here. Um, a few of the chicks that hatched off. This was our old aquaponics, which we no longer are running. And the person doing it disappeared. We haven't seen him since. We haven't got the time. So we just laid a couple of balls up the side. This is a bit of a quick get the, get the birds in sort of jobby. Yeah. So I'm sure these ones have been happy enough here and we'll get a fresh flock. And maybe look at a chicken tractor for them out on the herbal lays for next season but anyway you can see very limited amount of hens and if we hadn't got the bird flu the old hens would have just lived outside as they normally do until their until their time was up so we'll put a bit more straw down make it a bit more homely but as you can see not going to be getting a lot of eggs and their eggs will drop off now we've disturbed them we've moved them in we've pinned them up so they're not going to be overly happy are you girl Hey, all pretty friendly. And you can see, if you look at the red in her wattles and her comb, so if you zoom in there and see how red she is, she's trying to find the last bit of wheat in the bottom of the bucket. You can see that she is actually in lay. So if you get, if you look around at all of these, they're all pretty red, they're all healthy. There's a couple there that perhaps she looks like a younger hen, but um, a couple there that ain't so red, but they're perhaps kept because of their age. So, you can see there, plenty of redness. There's an old large wine dot. Now, chickens are all fed, that's exactly what we grow. So, these are all corn fed. There you go. That is it. A bit ground and a bit normal. Right, update on her hands, look how well she looks. All look really well, really happy. There's my favourite boy. And there's the other favourite boy. Just look at him, what a bird. So he's a partridge, bantam, cock breeding, wine dots are quite, very few and far of them between. We've got a few hens that are for him in here. Um, and we usually breed, <laughs> tried to dabble at showing, but that's all disappeared nowadays. the shape of him from Stephen Lay he's from so top breeder track the size sweeping we tidy up this morning so sweeping the yard Some various ideas that we find this is an old bow not a lot of good we use this for pig feed bedding area so just keep pushing her along give it a bit of a heat always liquid mixed in and then we'll get it in the muck spreader a lot a lot of rain we cleared a couple of homes we'll take the handling pen down to be precious for this old girl can't 
shovel that quickly, can you? Also, it's quite soft when you're going across up there because it's just a stone brick built sort of roadway, so it just Are you enjoying the rain, old girl? No? You want to go sit next to the fireplace, don't you? Hey? Go find a bed. So here it is, Tuesday evening. What a horrible day. Look, you've got two jumpers on. That has been pouring. So this morning we did a small move. We moved the bottom fence just so we can eat back so we can do the grazing. They weren't overly happy going backwards when they used to go forwards. But then we just moved a little bit tonight. And the reason why we decided to do it that way was it's not supposed to rain really now again this evening. So the fact is they've nibbled around the outside. They've puddled around and everything else. And now tonight they can come in as they're walking along towards me in the best off but once they've finished nibbling on this they will have somewhere nice to walk nice to eat and nice to lay down in if they want to so i thought that would be nicer for them so they had a bit of a tidy up move of boundary fences and then this one that, um black and white sort of spotty cans walking off that one there you can see it Buttercup number three. That's the third buttercup that we've had on the farm. So it's the only buttercup on the farm now. Anyway, a bit of paperwork, a few other bits, and I'm going to sit in front of a nice warm fire. So, enjoy your evenings. See you later. Bye bye. is one horrible, miserable day. It is non-stop rain and it's been like it. We've been, we started this morning at, um, we started this morning at about half past five, six, oh, sorry, half past six, not half past five. Um, trip out to Boston to pick up some more hanging beef because we're running short, the orders are crazy. Um, now yeah, I got to come to move these cows. I've had paperwork this morning, so my boy's been feeding the pigs and the strawing up and things like that. So I've just come down to move these. But this is a day that I really don't want to be outside being a farmer. No. But one thing it will do, the ones that don't fare in this condition with these, these heifers that are here, won't make the grade for breeding because they're supposed to be hardy cattle. They don't seem that bothered. They always wander over when I turn up in the van and say, are you going to give me some more? We give it a mixture each day and they're not quite clearing it up. And I think that's perfect because I think clearing up is probably not the right way to be because that means they're hungry and then they're testing the fence and everything else. Whereas we let them waste just a little bit, not talking a lot, just a little bit. They're not overly hungry. They're more content. And if we do get a day where we don't get to them quite in time, or they've eaten a bit more because there's less there to eat, and it's, it's a judging game, they can wander back over and pick over what they've left. So, but they seem quite content and quite happy. Even in this rain, it's probably about 10 degrees Celsius, so that's a bit, a bit fresh for us. <laughs> anyway, go and get wet. Speak later, bye. Oh, come on, boy! Hey, I've got for you. Hey, as I make up one of my fingers, <laughs> enjoy that, boy. How are you? Thanks, Got a problem this morning. Good or bad, I don't know. We'll find out. We have had a gilt in one of the fattening pens, have a little of piglets, five. Um, my boy found them first thing this morning. He scooped all the piglets out, so we've got a bucket full of piglets. <laughs> Not often you get that. So anyway, so our next job now is we'll try and get her out and move her, and hopefully she'll settle. And um, we'll show you a we'll show you a video of um, 
of the piglets on their mum. This doesn't happen very often, but occasionally it, it catches us out. We sort of see she was getting fat and pregnant, didn't realise she was quite due just yet. Um, so she caught us a bit by surprise, we was going to move her probably Sunday anyway, so she's a few days early. Well, she's not early, she's just on time. We're a few days, we're a few days wrong. So anyway, we're just setting up somewhere so we can be a long walk, so it's going to be a nightmare of a job, but yeah, it might be fun. Quickly it gets muddy with pigs. I think they're the muddiest thing we keep. So, hey girls. Hey hope, yes. Muddy, 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 muddy. Look what we have here. They old chicks, so these are Obviously be your red producers, just brown hens. So, let them out, take them on a journey of these growing up. So, these will be for your regs for next, next spring. So in March, April, these should be laying. 50 in total. So, that's a little pen just for a few days and then move into a bigger pen. Cuteness. It's a little bit too hot if you look, they're just cuddling around the outside. But put one of them brooders in there, I'm gonna stick another brooder in there tonight, and then this red lamp will come out after tonight. It's just gonna be dark very shortly, and it'll be nice for them to fill their crops and everything up tonight. <coughs> We've chucked a handful of food across the floor, they've got a couple of drinking options. We'll put a bit of wood so they can get up there tomorrow. <coughs> be about eight or nine degrees tonight so it shouldn't be too bad not the best time of the year to rear chicks but they're in in here reasonably rat proof no rats around here anyway not on this bit there's been no animals here for a long time <coughs> yep fingers crossed they settle down well Piglets. We should worm her, worm these in a few weeks. There we go. <laughs> so all five made it through their first 24 hours. So thanks to Bert for his quick actions and getting them saved. Bit of a dolly mix, that one's got stripes, that one's got spots, <laughs> it's got patches, and we've got a black one. Come back over, come back over where the warmth is. Hmm, that is a dolly mixture. So <laughs>
all looking happy. Oh, I don't think. Two and a half weeks. I'm getting across it now. There's not a lot there if you think about it, it's only a small strip. From there to there. Then it's not a huge amount on the stubble to eat. They're looking good, and it's easy. Good girls. <laughs> Another fence post from somewhere, and just a bit of pressure on that, ink that out a little bit. Save moving the whole fence on today. That ends up to that back fence will be the last In fact. I might even take this fence out tomorrow. And they'll be right up to there. Then they've only got nothing left. So, yep. Monday's job by the looks of it, they want moving. Not the end of the world, not too big a job when they got to move. So there. Easy as that. Hello, I'm Paul Day from Bramalby Farm. We're farming in the heart of the fens in the UK. I'm a first generation farmer and the aim of our farming business is to produce meat, which we sell direct to you as our customer through our online website, direct to your door.